To look down on South Korea's vast capital city is certainly to be impressed. Home to 10 million people, it can seem endless, but also monochrome and often rigidly regular. Throughout South Korea's late 20th century industrial rise, its living spaces were radically reshaped, often into utilitarian grids of massive concrete. It's a situation that for years has preoccupied one of South Korea's most celebrated architects. Construction company uh, dominated everything. So uh, they erased uh, most of uh, memories uh, inscribed on, on our land. That is uh, the main problem. And that's why he bid successfully to manage the redevelopment of this rundown neighborhood in northern Seoul. Sung says cities should evolve, not be dictated by the urban master plans of central government. Here, the old buildings will go, but the pathways and boundaries shaped by the topography and by human life will remain. But I like to uh, keep their life on this land. The fact that Sung has been given this opportunity is evidence that views like his are gaining traction. Last year, the government called for more regional diversity in architecture, and government money is being used in another project at the opposite end of the country, in Busan. Clinging to a steep hillside above South Korea's second city, Kamshan had long carried the stigma of slum status, springing up as a shanty town for refugees from the Korean War. Now it's a tourist attraction, gaining nearly 100,000 visitors a year. It's been turned into an arts neighborhood, one that relies on the efforts of its inhabitants. Residents here have a fine sense of aesthetics. They regard their house as their clothes. They're painted with the color they wanted. When artists came, they added the drawings. Lee Shun Shim has lived here almost all her life. I feel good that lots of people come. It's been three years since this 10-year-long project started. There is still more room for change. The winding steps and alleyways make for an old-fashioned atmosphere, but for most of the visitors here, grown used to life in urban grids comes as a welcome novelty. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Busan, South Korea.